Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and to anyone that is new here. Hi, my name is Christy. I'm a personal stylist that helps women rise through style. Now today we are going to be doing a haul. I had asked all of you on social media, on Instagram and Facebook in particular, if you wanted to see a haul of some of the things that I had scooped up for myself over the past few months for the summertime and it was a resounding yes. So we're gonna have some fun and share some shopping finds today. Now one of the first things that I picked up for myself for the summertime were some basic shirts. Uh, you know, with the pandemic happening, a lot of the shirts that I had wanted to wear from the summer that I had years previous, of course didn't fit because of the weight loss that I had gone through, but I could not get to anyone for alterations. So I always say to anyone that's starting fresh at the closet for any time, uh, that they're looking to refresh things, start with your basics. So I picked up some basic tees, but what I've really been loving is sort of the muscle tank uh, tops that are around right now. You'll see a lot of them with much more prominent shoulders or even shoulder padding in some of them. I didn't necessarily want shoulder pads, it's just not my vibe, but I was looking on Dynamite, which is a Canadian retailer. You guys have heard me talk about them before. And I love that they had this style of muscle tank top, if you will and it didn't have any shoulder padding in it. And I just wanted something simple and white to start with for the summertime. And t-shirts for me in particular are not something that I will willingly invest a lot of money in just because they get a lot of stains. Uh, they do yellow at the armpits eventually. So I typically look for something that's fairly affordable. To me, like recommending like a $90 t-shirt is just stupid in my opinion. I don't think it's worth it. Um, so I thought this was great. I don't remember the exact price point, but it was incredibly affordable. It's not see-through, which is lovely. And it still has that nod to the trend right now. And I actually really like them. They're beautiful. If you're someone that has narrow or more sloping shoulders and you're looking to balance out your frame a little bit, this would be a really fun option to play with in the summertime. It's got a lower uh, cut on the arm and I'm really enjoying wearing this so far this season. Now the next item is something that I scooped up from Revolve. I love graphic tees. It's been come, it's becoming a favorite of mine in my closet just because I love the personality that they add. I love all the color in graphic tees, but the ones that I had had were either just white and one other color, or they were all really dark in the blacks and whatnot. And as you guys know, I don't tend to wear black or gray like ever. Um, I, I mean, it's not that I don't wear them, it's just really rare that I go there. So I scooped up this really fun uh, graphic tee from Revolve. I love all the colors in it. It just it felt really fun to me. It's a little bit oversized too and I like that slouchy relaxed feel with graphic tees because then you can tie them differently and knot them at your waist and tuck them in and they're just so comfortable. So I love, love, love all the colors in this. I know it will go with a lot of the trousers that I have that are also comfortable and some skirts that I have in my closet too. There's just endless possibilities in terms of what you can team this with. And that's what made me fall in love with this piece uh, in particular. So I've been very, very happy with pairing this with anything from as simple as denim shorts and then dressing it up, like I said, with trousers and skirts. So this has been a really fun, well-loved piece already in my closet since I purchased it early spring. Now the next piece is another one from Revolve that I feel is going to get a lot of rotation in my closet over the summer months and actually probably beyond. And that is this really long muscle tank style uh, dress. Now it is a little bit bodycon in that it's stretchy, but it's not overly form fitting, which is what I like. It just sort of follows the lines of my silhouette really beautifully. And I like that this one has the fuller shoulder so that you can wear a bra because again, anyone that has a larger bust, you know, the struggle. <laughs> A lot of the summer dresses that come out in the summertime are so frustrating because it's for the itty bitty committee. And not that that's bad, but when you wanna wear a regular everyday bra, it can be incredibly frustrating. So if any of you are in that same boat and you know the struggle yourself, I actually made a full blog post on dresses I recommend that you can wear with a normal everyday bra. Uh, bra. So I will leave that linked down below. So that was part of the appeal with this one. And I like that it was so simple, just clean lines, a really beautiful shot of color, but I can layer this with blouses, denim jackets. I can layer things under it. I can belt it. I can dress it up and make it look different with the use of accessories. There's just a lot of possibility with this very simple piece. And of course the color just seals the deal for me because you guys know I'm such a lover of color. So I know that this one's going to get a lot of use this summer. I've already worn it a few times. I love that it's just a one and done. You throw it on and off you go. And it's nice and light too. So for those extra hot days where you just feel sticky, this is going to be great. <laughs> 
Now this next dress is an affordable, lovely piece that I'm loving. I've worn it quite a lot already. And that is this dress I found off of Revolve. Again, has a thicker strap. So again, you can wear it with an everyday bra and it's got the coverage on the back. So again, wear it with a normal bra. So again, that's sort of the theme with me and dresses. <laughs> and I love that it's got this beautiful smocking sort of across the waistline, which no normally I'm not a huge fan of smocking in a lot of pieces. I think if it's not placed correctly, it can actually look really cheap. Uh, and kind of detract from the figure overall. But I thought that this one was really nice and I love the subtle, subtle sorry, embroidery that's embedded in this dress. I think it's very, very flattering and gives an interesting sort of summary texture to the dress that I think is really beautiful. But again, I love that this is something I can switch up and change around with layers and accessorizing and use it for something as simple as day, but jazz it up a little bit for nighttime. There's just a lot of possibility. And I love that it's sleeveless. So again, I'm not going to be overwhelmed with heat on those really balmy, hot days. And I know there's some of you out there that really struggle with wanting to show your arms. I also have a blog post about that. So I'll leave it listed down below. Um, but again, you want to try and embrace your beautiful body as is. So of course, if you are just someone that feels more self-conscious about that, you can throw on uh, like a beautiful scarf to drape over your shoulders. I even shared something on Instagram recently where you can tie a scarf into almost a kimono style layer, which is really beautiful. Uh, so you can check that out on Instagram. But this dress has just got a really great classic silhouette. It's a nice A-line, super flattering, uh, and one of those timeless pieces that I'll just be able to wear over and over again. Now I got another dress, we're a little on, dress, on the dress heavy side, <laughs> but I got another dress uh, that I love the color of and it's a kind of sexy as well. I got this sort of silky-esque dress or like satin inspired uh, dress again from Revolve, not sponsored by them or anything, they just had some great pieces. And I love that it's this champagne sort of creamy color, which I think is beautiful, it's nice for my complexion as well. And I love that it's cut in a very slight A-line, which I find so complimentary. It skims the lines of the body really beautifully. It's again, something you can wear with a bra, of course. And I just love, again, how timeless this is. This is something you could wear, or sorry, pair with some simple sandals and a straw bag for that like effortless summer look. Or again, with some really beautiful gold jewelry and a clutch and some nice heels. This also would look spectacular in the evening. So I thought that this was such a beautiful buy. And again, one of those timeless things that's not necessarily trendy um, that I know will last in my closet for years to come. So I was really, really excited about this purchase. And I haven't worn it yet uh, out because we've had nowhere to go really. And our summer temperatures only really just kicked in in Canada for where we are in Ontario anyway. Uh, so I'm looking forward to wearing this this season. Now the last piece from Revolve that I scooped up uh, cause I guess I was loving a lot of stuff on their website is this beautiful top. You can see I haven't worn it yet. It's tag still on there. Uh, but it's this beautiful tie top that I just love the color. Like the color is what got me with this one. I've really been enjoying yellow recently. And I love that this is a really, I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera properly, but it's this really lovely sort of light kind of daffodil buttery yellow, which is what I really love about it. Now it's got a clasp in the front because this does come a little low cut and I can't actually wear a bra with this one. Um, even with some of the maneuvers where you can take some of these tie tops and you can tuck it in and around the bra to camouflage it a little bit. It just wasn't showing or sorry, it wasn't camouflaging it quite as nicely as I would like. So I've actually used some adhesive bras that have, that I tried on with this to make sure it was going to work for me that actually hold up really well because I know this is a struggle for a lot of women especially if you have a larger bust, bust sorry I used to look at some of those adhesive bras and think there's no way it's gonna hold me up because I have a larger bust also but as someone that's been uh, anywhere from like a D to an F over the years these are amazing I'm going to leave them linked down below they're called the bring it up uh, like adhesive bra they are magic you will love them <laughs> And they worked with this top, which I love as well. And I just love that it had these cute little balloon sleeves. So I imagine wearing this with some nice skirts, uh, even using it as a layering piece over a dress or just potentially paired with a really beautiful high-waisted short or trouser or skirt of some kind. I'm very, very much looking forward to wearing this piece, especially because it's linen, nice and breathable for the summertime. All right, so next up, I have some pieces from Alice and Olivia. They had a killer sale happening on their website where everything was up to 80% off. And I only picked up two pieces from them, but the price point was so spectacular. 
for Alice and Olivia's stuff. I really, really like their pieces. Now, if you have been following me for some time, you will have known that last year, was it last year that I picked up or maybe the year before, I had this really stunning coral dress that I picked up from ASOS. And just because of my weight loss and based on the fact that I couldn't get to an alterations person, that dress just didn't fit anymore. It wasn't worth altering based on the initial investment that I had with it. So I was hunting for something that was like that dress because I wore it so much. And I found like almost an exact replica of it on Alice and Olivia, but of course much better quality. So here we are. Isn't this a gorgeous color? It's like this beautiful coral, but it's got like an oranginess to it, which I really love. And it's almost identical to the dress that I have. It's still got these beautiful sort of fluttered sleeves, draping sleeves. It's so flattering. I love the color. Again, this is something that will look really beautiful dressed up or dressed down with some simple sandals. I've just been thrilled with this piece. The only thing that I had to tweak with it is again, I just had my seamstress when she opened up, add a little bit of a clasp across the front where it would fold over the bust, just because again, anyone with a larger bust knows that a wrap dress can be a little problematic in that area. So I had her add that just to make sure everything stays in place, but this is just such a beautiful piece and it was so affordable with the sale they had, it was spectacular. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this. And again, another timeless piece that will go a long way in my closet. And then the other piece I picked up from Alice and Olivia that again, super sale, which was amazing, is this beautiful chartreuse uh, skirt like stunning. I mean, how can you not love this color? It's such a hot trending color for the summertime uh, and for the season, but this is something in my color palette. I was looking for this. I've been craving this color this year, which again, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you probably know because I've been showing it a lot. Um, but I love this. I do think that these sort of satin style skirts are becoming a little bit of a wardrobe basic as well. I'm going to do an updated video on that for all of you. And I just love that again, this is something I can dress up and down. It's something I could pair with graphic tees or beautiful camisole for something more evening or feminine looking. There's just so many ways to wear this and uh, I love the fit of it. I think it's beautiful. I've loved it and worn it already. It's just, it's such a good buy. I've been very, very happy with it. Now the very last piece that you've probably already seen on my channel already anyway is a pair of shorts that I picked up from Zara of all places. Zara has some really spectacular stuff every now and then. I gotta hand it to them. I know fast fashion is problematic in itself, but I love some of the trend-based things that they come out with. And surprisingly, some of the classic items they have are also really wonderful. So I had stumbled upon these beautiful tailored shorts of theirs uh, that are really long. Uh, they're almost like to my knee length. That's how long they are, which is a, a lot because I have quite long legs. And they are just spectacular. I really love the fit. The cut is beautiful. Uh, you know, the quality is not bad for Zara. I would say they're decent for like a Zara buy. And I've really been loving them. I don't remember what the price point was, so forgive me. I'll leave it linked down below like everything else. But it's just a really nice, clean, effortless short that you can use for business. You could use it for a night out and glam it up a little bit. You could dress it down. This is a great piece, super, super flattering. I think a lot of you, if you look into it, will probably love it as well, because I think sometimes finding some of the simple items, look like classic items in stores, can often feel a little bit challenging because it seems so trend-based a lot of the time. And again, this has no pleating on it, no funky detail, no weird pockets, nothing like that, just a clean classic short that you can style a million ways. I've really been loving it. I was super happy with this. And just remember any of the items that I brought up today, I will leave linked down below for any of you in case you're also interested in eyeing them yourself. So you can check out the description box down below. And of course, if any of you are looking for any closet help, don't forget my Closet Clarity Workbook, which is only $20, will help you go through your closet and get clarity on your style vision, how to create more outfits in your closet and so much more. I will leave that linked for you down below. And other than that, my angels, I'm sending you all the love to the moon and back and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.